Hey everybody, welcome to Universal Studios today. It's been about, I don't know, three weeks or a month since I've been here last. And you know, I, I say this all the time, but I, but I really do mean it today. I have zero agenda today. This is just a Scott day at the theme park. And so I thought, you know, I'll just bring you along and see what we see. There's a new virtual line pass for Hagrid's. It's supposed to be a little bit different than the previous iteration. So I want to give that a try. I just also want to walk around, maybe get some snacks. First snack being right behind me back here, there is a churro donut over here at Voodoo Donuts I've been wanting to try out. Sounds really good. So uh, we're going to stop by there first. And then I don't know where we're going to go. So come on. Got through the line at Voodoo Donuts and got two donuts. One is the one that I actually went for and one just because it looked good. So we're gonna try that one first. This is a Portland cream donut. I think it's just a cream filled donut with chocolate on top. Probably nothing special. We'll see. Just a cream filled donut, but good, really good. Another one I really came for. This is called the Churro Stand Donut. Um, cinnamon and sugar dust on the outside. I'm not sure what that filling is. I'll put it right here. It's good. The outer of the cinnamon on the outside is really, really good. Mm, good them. So the crowds the last few weeks have just been out of the doors, busy. If you're coming and that's the only time you can come, more power to you. But as a local, I'm gonna avoid those times at all costs. So today's a Friday. It's gonna be busy today, but it's now 3.30, just walking into the park. Universal's open till nine, Islands is open till 10 tonight. About to go under the arches. So first things first, we're gonna walk over here to the pass holder lounge and get our button for July and then uh, go over across to the five and dime and see if they have any Halloween Horror Nights merchandise out. So this month's uh, pass holder button. Mmm, donuts. Here at the five and dime, this is where they have the Halloween Horror Nights preview merchandise. And they just announced the Haunting of Hill House. Look, I got their shirts out. That's exciting. Maybe hey, stop by the uh, crepe stand up here and see if there is a new crepe. I know there's a new sweet crepe, but I'm looking for something savory now. I had my had my dessert first. They had the smoked brisket uh, crepe, which I've had before. It's really good smoked brisket with golden barbecue and slaw. They also had a plant-based chicken. I haven't had that one, but that's not exactly what I was looking for. They did have that new sweet crepe, but again, I've already had my sweet for the day. So I'm going to keep moving and see uh, if maybe the Jackie Potato booth is open outside of King's Cross Station. And maybe stop and get a Jackie Potato. One of the other things that we got to come do one day is come over here to Moe's to get the Flaming Mo. Uh oh, there's 
crusty. So right outside King's Cross Station. Before you cross over into the Simpsons area is the Jacket Potato booth. They have hot dogs, Jacket Potatoes with beans and cheese, broccoli and cheese, shepherd's pie, and loaded. I think I'm gonna try the shepherd's pie this time. Okay, well, I just got my Jacket Potato. Here's my hand, by the way. Potato. This thing is uh, sizable. <laughs> For like nine dollars i'm gonna dig in i'll tell you what i think here in a second okay so about halfway through um the potato is good it's hot not overcooked it's soft inside the shepherd's pie is really really tasty cheese is good um it could use a little salt but that's all right well i'm about to head over to hogwarts express and jump on and head over to islands of adventure but i thought you know i can't leave the park without doing one ride so I'm gonna come over here to my favorite in this park, Revenge of the Mummy. We're gonna jump on the Hogwarts Express and head over to Islands of Adventure. So we'll see you over there. We got over to Hogsmeade and uh, Hagrid's is currently delayed. So we're gonna walk over here to Jurassic Park and see uh, the wait time on the app. Currently says 35 minutes for Velocicoaster. Maybe shorter for the single ride line. So let me give that a shot. So it says currently, Thirty-five minutes and at capacity for a single rider line. I think I'm gonna hang out just for a few minutes and see if they open that single rider line back up. Um, maybe after five or ten minutes. If they don't, then I'll just jump in the regular queue. Well, as per usual with Florida during the summer, uh, along came a giant thunderstorm, and uh, I had to book it out of the park. I was all the way in the back, basically speed walked all the way to the front, got soaked. So we're gonna have to uh, pivot and change our plans. So I'm not gonna stay around for, because the weather, weather's saying it's probably gonna rain for the next two hours. 72 hours later. So I'm back on another night. I wanna finish up what I kinda started the other day with a walk through uh, Universal. So I decided to come over here and have a little early dinner and camp out and film Cinematic Spectacular, which is the nighttime show here at the Universal Studios side of the park. Fairly good show. It's a fountain show, projections, fireworks, uh, all that kind of good stuff. But I also got some dinner, so I want to kind of share that with you. I decided to try one of the food trucks. They had beef empanadas and a Cuban, and I couldn't decide on either, so, so I just got both. So here we have the empanadas. Also came with a tomato and cucumber salad um, and then there's also the Cuban sandwich which looks pretty good <laughs> this traditional Cuban sandwich so I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, give these a try for you the Cuban is good it does taste like it's been sitting around for a while you got the, the ham and Swiss and pork and pickles and mustard or everything you'd expect on a Cuban sandwich. The bugs are terrible. I like, keep flying in my ears. Flavoring bugs. Stupid bugs. Yeah. So we'll put the Cuban in the OK column. Just OK. I don't know if I can show you down in there. Probably can't see. There's not much in there. And what is in there, let me taste okay. Chopper. I got a little duck friend down here that I keep throwing crumbs to that's getting impatient with me. So, um, the flavor's okay, not much in there. Also, just another, just okay. Well, unfortunately, the uh, Cinematic Spectacular has way too much copyrighted music in it. So I won't be able to use any of the actual music in the uh, show. So bear with me while we play some uh, music on top of it. And I sort of piece it together. It's really more of an experience you want to see in person because without the music, obviously it's going to be lacking something. But again, uh, too much copyrighted material uh, would be uh, a copyright strike on the channel for sure. So please enjoy.
had yet another amazing time here at Universal. Always do. Whether it's for an hour or two hours or by myself or with a group or with friends or with Jennifer. I always have a fantastic time. The atmosphere here just makes me feel great. The food, the smells, the people, the attractions, the whole experience. I, I love Universal. Um, again, you know, some of the surprises moving to Orlando, becoming a local, is how much love I've, I've developed for the non-Disney parks, which uh, I always kind of thought would be secondary, but turns out, you know, um, I, I love Disney, of course. But Universal and SeaWorld and, and all the other parks have become such a huge part of my life. Thank you guys, as always, for coming along. If never lost, then never found. So go get lost.